Now we go to Columbia, where some members of the social organization, the People's Congress, have been found dead in an apparent murder. Now, as the investigation begins, members of the group speak out. Here's our correspondent, Natalia Margarita. Friends, colleagues, and the visibly affected brother of Carlos Alberto Pedraza, whose body was found Wednesday last week, gave a press conference in which the director of the Legal Medicine Institute confirmed a single shot in the head as the cause of death, leaving no doubt that this case follows the pattern of the assassination of Colombia's social leaders. In Colombian history, it is unfortunately very easy to prove the existence of a political context in which social leaders are systemically assassinated and disappeared. Carlos colleague Alexandra Bermudez recalled the threats on the lives of people in their social organization, Congreso de los Pueblos, which they have received from paramilitary groups. She also noted that Carlos Alberto was missing for 48 hours before he was found dead and called for an investigation into this fact. A forced disappearance happens after his activities and movements have been followed. He was captured and taken to a different municipality. Someone must have seen something. Carlos relatives and colleagues are still waiting for an official pronouncement by the Colombian government, as well as for an exhaustive investigation that will clarify the strange circumstances surrounding the death. Meanwhile, what is clear is that as many others in Colombia, Carlos is victim of a politically motivated crime. Carlos Alberto's activities were related to his contribution to building peace. We're building the kind of peace that social movements propose, dignified life conditions, social justice, civil society participation, and that is what a sector of Colombians does not want to happen. It is not by chance that this press conference was held here at the National Center for Historic Memory, Peace and Reconciliation, a place exclusively constructed to pay homage to the thousands of victims that, like Carlos Alberto, were struggling to bring peace with social justice to Colombia. In this place, their struggles and ideas are supposed to be remembered. In Bogotá, Natalia Margarita, Telesur.